Ooh, look at that thing. Yeah, so right there we got a brand new fertilizer spreader. I'm an idiot, that is a manure spreader. We won't be using that today, we'll be later, maybe next week. Yesterday we were bringing home some pears, splitting them, and today we're gonna be doing the same. We're gonna be hitting our two close pastures, basically right on this home section that we live on. Some people don't know what a section is. Section is a mile by mile area of land. It's about 640 acres, I believe. Bring them up, we're gonna split them, wean the calves, and the calves will be going into a feedlot where they'll start getting fed a little bit more corn, get them grown. Once we do split these two groups, we're also going to work the calves, give them their second round of shots. It's about 30 degrees right now, not too bad, no breeze. And actually later this week, it's gonna be getting in the 60s again, so it's gonna be probably feeling kinda hot. She acts like she knows where she's going. Sometimes it's really hard getting them out of this pen. But it looks like they're ready to scoot. We're at the north pen right now. Wow, they are moving. Oh, nope. there's always a couple stragglers. So that first pasture is right out there and there's a gate in the corner. So it's, it'd be really easy to get them through there. So we're moving these heifers first, getting them out of the way, putting them up in a pen. Then we'll start pulling the pears out back. There's gonna be one, I guarantee you, Dad. Yeah, she's the one, right there. Oh, you son of a gun. Really, to the back of the lot? Maybe she wants to go to town. Oh, are you kidding me? Why is there always gotta be one? I didn't know I joined cross country when I woke up this morning. Why are you coming towards me? Go that way. Hi. Come on. Hi. Two days ago, we were moving some pears, and we pushed we pushed a group of 37 pears three miles down the road, down to gravel road. And when we got back to the original pasture, there was one pear sitting down in the trees. So we were like, well, I guess we'll try to load them up. Well, we tried loading them up. They ran through a fence, then they ran through another fence, and then they ran through one more fence, and they're still at that pasture. It's definitely best to get them all the first try. I think we need to put a Jeff on this one. Must have a little shrinkage going on. You remember when I was little and you'd like reach over and oh. pick me up? Can yeah. you do that again? I'll jump. I was like, oh, that is fun, but when I started getting bigger, I was like, you know, it would hurt quite a bit. When you were little, I could really get you up in the airways when I threw you up. I swear it was like, I don't know, maybe four or five feet up there. I don't know what mom was thinking at the time. So we put these two gates together, home farms back that way. And right here, if you watched that video, was when we gave the cats their first round of shots. Yep. And so we pulled these ones, you can see them out in the distance, into the corral. And then we put these two gates together like we did, and we did those ones. So now we're just gonna bring them all the way up and bring them back to the home farm where we can split them and work them. We don't have to set up a corral. Your English teacher, Mr. Denning, would be so proud right now. You said these ones and those ones. Said incorrect or what? Uh, probably. Uh, Looks like the cows are in that part. But well, once again, don't want to miss another pair. Oh, time to wrangle up some cattle. Funny how headed north is cold. Turn around south, sun hits you, no more breeze, breeze to your back. Huh. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I was getting a little chill. Come on, ladies. Oh, that one's looking over. I think they see the hole. Oh, that's a fence. You can play that like a guitar. Come on, balls. Hey, go, go. Oh, I'm in danger. Holy Moses, come on. All right, you won, big guy, just go. Come on. Hey. 
it gets spooky. This guy just got put to shame. He's all sad. He's just hoping none of the girls saw that. Pitiful performance by the young bull. So these calves have been weaned for a few days. They're going out in that north feedlot here, and then the ones that we're gonna be weaning today, they're gonna stay up by the barn. The cows are gonna go with my heifers out in that bean field. They're probably gonna go out to stocks here in a couple days, right? Well, four days they'll put them all and then we can do what we want. Four days they'll be out in the stocks. Slipped on something slimy over there. Saw that. Did you get hurt? No. That's quite a set of calves out of first. Just about all first calf heifers. We had a couple cows in with them, but just about every one of them's out of a first timer. And there's a cow with a humpback we're gonna call. The best part about that humpback cow is she was a nasty son of a gun. And now we don't have to calf her anymore. She was also the one when we'd spray flies out in the pasture, she'd just take off running and she'd screw it up so the calves wouldn't get sprayed on. She going down. She going down. So all the good mamas. Not you, 443. Going out to some bean stubble, they'll get fed for a few days and then we'll push them all out to the corn stacks where they'll be for hopefully a month at least. Depends on if we get... Shh, I'm talking. Depends on if we get uh, early big snow, which we of course don't want. And then we'll work all the calves. And that'll be about it for the day. Nothing fancier than a black Angus cow out in South Dakota at Sunny Farms. Am I right? You know what they're saying? Er my gird, where my perlich. This is one of those fun in the middle of a fence gate, not in the corner. Doesn't always work good. Do you think we'll get it first try? I got a good feeling we'll get it first try. <laughs> I want out, she says. Cause you had a bad day. Do you need a shot? Probably. I don't think they got a cure for what ails me. Mm. Stupidity? <laughs> uh, some that spouts off. Can't Ooh. fix that. UN stand for a unit because that's a big boy. Meaty sucker. This guy right here is why you contact Brian early. Cause it's first come, first serve. Get a look at him while he runs out. Like the auctioneers say, he's got an extra rib. <laughs> I don't know how they can have an extra rib, but. He's got an extra rib. Hey. And he's tame, he won't chase. Oh man. There's some people saying, dang it, I'd like me some sunny meat. Sunny meat. I got lost. I know you had it too, right? Come on. A couple years ago, I was 
watching a sale on DV auction and the auctioneer was full. He was full and he uh, said, this is a Sunday afternoon kind of heifer. And I thought, what does that mean? And uh, the only thing I can think of is when you're out in your fancy clothes and driving around, you can admire it. But to me, it's like, uh, if you can't figure out something better to say about it, critter, than that. Is that a Sunday afternoon type of critter? You're just making it up, you know. <laughs> I had to bleep, bleep you three times on that one. When you walk into the local meat market to meet a man, are you kind of, do you kind of learn lean towards them big beefy guys? Because 331 here would be your fancy one. Oh yeah, he's straight across the back. He's quiet. He stands for the camera. He's a Sunday afternoon kind of bull. Circumference comes to mind looking at him. Well, he's a circumference king. Okay. So these calves are going to be kicked out right behind the barn. There's a couple bale feeders out there. We're also going to put Humpback in with them. Just because she's she's going to town at some point, so she'll be up close. Plus, that might calm down the calves. And if you saw the dink in this group, Humpback is the one who raised, who raised Dinky. So she's kind of a poor cow. She's nasty. She stanks. She looks a little ugly, and she raises a bad calf. I bet she has a wonderful personality, though. Well, don't look at... Oh, my goodness! Now you can go back, get your exercise for the day. What call did you see that half Slappy's back from vacation? Uh-huh. Yeah, he may. He'll be with me all winter, folks. Zero to 60 in one second right here. Ready for it? Let's go! Near him. That was kind of slow. We got three loads to do, those calves we chased to the north lot, those bred heifers that we had to move out of the way, they're now in the middle pen. All those cows we threw out in the bean stubble, there ain't much feed out there. Ellie, you're pooping on the kern, look at ya. Oh my Atlanta. And then you'd, you'd keep moving, you're still pooping. That's unbelievable. I don't even remember what I was saying. Dad's going out to grab another one of those bottomless bunks. There's only one bunk out with those cows, so they're going to need a little bit more bunk space. These silly guys are just circling me. Looks like I got a little bit of welding to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just gonna, yeah, you can see how it, it wouldn't want to bend that way, but we made it with force. Tomorrow we're planning on moving some more pairs. Hey doggy. And so in a little bit, we're gonna set this up at one of our pastures and I'm gonna pull it out of the way right now and bring the four wheel drive a little bit closer to the hydrant. Because I think I'm going to try to pressure wash this off. It's about 46 degrees, which ain't too bad. Later this week on Friday, the high is 77, which is going to be it's November. That's, that's pretty warm. I want to get this thing cleaned up, ready to sit in the shed the rest of winter. This thing could probably use a bath too. Oh, what's that? Subscribe. Hmm. It's a sign. Come on, baby.
one could say it was a wee bit moist down in there. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say blessy? I did get some soap on the tillage machine in the back, but like, I don't know if it's gonna do much for these giant clods of mud everywhere. This is gonna take a while. Ran out of gas. Earlier I was thinking to myself, self, you should probably put some gas in there. Should listen to that guy more often. He's pretty smart. Uh. Looks a little better. So at some point here we can unhook that, put it in the shed for the winter. Looks like dad's roaring. He's in a bad mood I think the Packers lost a little bit ago well, we're gonna take this down he can use that anger and we can spread this out real quick get ready for tomorrow You'll have to get that outrigger out what do you call me That's good. Well, my neighbor called and said they tried to wean calves and they busted out. That we could, there's a couple Charlets, maybe a couple black calves out with our cows and they're really wild. So we'll have to deal with that tomorrow. Yay. There she is. It works. Gee, that's close. <laughs> I was like, man, he's inching a little too close to the camera. Right? There's your close up, Pa. That's gonna about do it for today's video. Tomorrow, as you know, we'll be moving some more critters. And also stay tuned for that beast coming out, getting dirty, getting some poo all over it. We're excited to hook onto that and start running it some. We traded in our old manure spreader and we decided to go with this H&S. It's a little bit bigger, pretty fancy. So if you're interested in seeing that thing run, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Hey, y'all need a ride? They said they're good. <laughs>